Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time! Now, in case you can't tell by my shirt, I've just arrived back home from MFF, aka Midwest Fur Fest. And I'm excited to get this video out to you guys. This was actually my first major fur con. I know. Now you're thinking, what comic? You have been to you know, many others before? Well, I have been to other fur cons, but more of the smaller local con, aka like 300 plus. Meanwhile, MFF definitely got above 1100 attendees. So, just a few more than I'm used to. Anyways, so I and my sister are Rebosa the Fox, aka Rook the Crow. Uh, went to MFF, which was hosted in Rosemont, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, where we met up with my longtime friend, King of the Thirsty Nerd. We piled around for a while, and then we went to the dreaded Line Con. Don't know what I'm talking about? Do yourself lucky. It's an ongoing joke at any major convention, furry or not. Two major quote unquote cons at a convention will be Line Con and Elevator Con. So, day one on Thursday. Okay, we went and did Line Con and got our badges. And this happened to be during the 20th anniversary of MFF, so we got lucky. Friday was when it really began. We got bright and early, or early for us anyway, and got there around, oh what, at 11ish? And we palled around a bit. We went to the dealer's den, we went to Artist Alley, picked up a bunch of cool stuff. That's over three days. Even though there was one spot in the dealer's den we did not manage to find in the annexed area. For those of you who know what's in there, good for you. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you will learn. You will learn one day, my friend. Let me just say that they uh, had a certain store available involving a dragon. Beyond that, I will not say any more. On day one, I actually match, managed to spot a couple famous it's furry there, aka poppy fur, or at least people who are more popular than me. With my 20 to 30 subscribers at this point in time, such as Quartz, Husky, and Reka, aka Fixin' Doll. Didn't get any of their pictures, but hey, I saw them. Once again, they have no idea who I even exist. Maybe that will change one day. So we had a great time. Day two, Saturday. Or this is day three at this point. I get confused. Oh yeah, on Friday we did go to the dance. Where a certain crow discovered her she doesn't really like to sneak the rays. Oh well. That's not for everybody. Saturday comes and rolls around. Where yeah, we get up and we finally decide to get over to a panel. What's that on Friday? Well, I'll check the guy above like later and add a little caption right about here where I on what day this actually took place. Okay, we end up going to the Furry Speed Mingle, which is kind of like speed dating but just trying to make new friends. And I like to think we both, well, my sister and I both, almost did manage to make some new uh, buddies. One of which we kept being around everywhere. And we later met up with Keen again, went to the dealer's room again, where he ended up spending like a good half hour at the hyena agenda booth. Who knew that you could spend half an hour there, right? And then we all went to the Family Feud Furry Style, where I ended up being one of the contestants. My sister was kind enough to videotape record the later half of that event, which I shall post later, with a link to where you can find the full video in question, or at least through the proper channel anyway. Saturday we didn't go to the dance, just wasn't feeling it that night, but I did run into a couple more poppy birds, Beagle in Red and Jai the Jackodile. 
person died, he is not anywhere close to uh, Rega, uh, Quartz, or even in Beagle. Well, I just like Jackal Dial. They look fun to me. And I want to make a Jackal Dial character. Sunday, the official last day of the convention. I end up going to the convention with my sister again. We piled around, did some events, and went to the clothing ceremony. Very t touching, if you ask me. Very touching. After that, I went back to the Dead Dog Dance, where they end up playing Circle Life and the Rains in Africa in the songs. If you don't know that second one, then look it up, people. Alright. I personally had a great time at this event. And by this event, I mean the convention. I hope to go back again one year. When I have the money. Because it's kind of expensive to go. Especially for um, North Carolina. Oh well, what can we do, right? Next time I go, I'm pretty sure my getup will be a whole lot better. And to all my friendos I made, Hey there. Hey guys. And in the meantime, it's gonna be signing off. If you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny.